Hey tubers. Everybody's getting ready for Mardi Gras. Place is buzzing down here. Tourists are starting to show up. What a concept, huh? Mardi Gras. Two weeks of partying ends on Fat Tuesday, Tuesday before Ash Wednesday, and it's a total blowout, man. Get as smashed as you can, as drunk as you can, <laughs> blow it out, strip bars, whatever you're doing, and then go figure. And, uh, you know, there will be a million people down here in this tiny area of, of uh, the French Quarter and lots of parades, lots of stuff going on. Who gave you the rose? The lady there. Oh. They're going to be giving away roses tomorrow to all the ladies. Oh, cool. So you got it. Show the, show the, Caroline got a rose. Is that cool? <laughs> hey, I want to, uh. I want to share with you uh, the concept of garbage, human garbage. And the question is, are you human garbage, according to what God says? Well, let's go to the Word and see if you are, according to God. Now, everybody gets all wigged out when I talk about human garbage, but I'm going to make the point up front. What does God say? Okay, here's what God says. This is John chapter 15. I am the vine, this is Jesus talking, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He, he cuts off every branch that doesn't produce fruit and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit. So even those that bear fruit, God prunes them, pulls them back, shapes them, molds them so that they will produce even more. You have already been pruned for greater fruitfulness by the message I have given you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. For a branch cannot bear fruit if it is severed from the vine, and you cannot be fruitful apart from me. Jesus saying, you cannot be fruitful apart from me. Yes, I am the vine, and you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who parts from me is thrown away like a useless branch. Okay, <clears throat> again, uh, John 15, verse 6. Anyone who parts from me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers. Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned. But if you stay joined to me and my words remain in you, you may ask any request you like and it will be granted. My true disciples produce much fruit. This brings great glory to my Father. I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. When you obey me, you remain in my love, just as I obey my Father and remain in His love. I have told you this so that you will be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. I command you to love each other in the same way that I love you. And here is how to measure it. The greatest love is shown when people lay down their lives for their friends. You are my friends if you obey me. I no longer call you servants because a master doesn't confide in his servants. Now you are my friends. Since I have told you everything the Father told me, you didn't choose me. I chose you. I appointed you to go and produce fruit that will last so that the Father will give you whatever you ask for using my name. I command you to love each other. When the world hates you, remember it hated me before it hated you. The world would love you if you belonged to it, but you don't. I chose you to come out of the world, and so it hates you. Do you remember what I told you? A servant is no greater than the master. Since they persecuted me, naturally they'll persecute you. And if they had listened to me, they would listen to you. The people of the world will hate you because you belong to me, for they don't know God who sent me. 
they would not be guilty if I had not come and spoken to them. But now they have no excuse for their sin. Anyone who hates me hates my father too. If I hadn't done such miraculous signs among them that no one else could do, they would not, they would not be counted guilty. But as it is, they saw all that I did and yet hated both of us, me and my father. This is fulfilled what the scriptures said, they hated me without cause. But I will send you the counselor, the spirit of truth. He will come to you from the father and will tell you all about me. And you must also tell others about me because you have been with me from the beginning. Amen, amen, and amen, amen. Anyone who parts from me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers. Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned. Where do you stand with God? Surrender your life to Christ. It would be the best decision you ever made. Jesus loves you, has a major plan for your life. We love you. Give your life to Christ. God bless you.